Hey, it's time for an apple fritter. Here's your host, Jimmy Apple. Welcome to another episode of An Apple a Day's The Fritter. I'm your host, Jimmy Apple. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Today's topic is indigestion. What is indigestion? We've all said at one time or another that we've had it, but what is indigestion? Indigestion is a very common condition. About 25% of people in the U.S. experience indigestion each year. A healthcare provider will review your medical history, symptoms, and lifestyle. Try to explain your indigestion in as much detail as possible. Note the type of discomfort and where you feel it. Also tell your healthcare provider when you experience indigestion. For example, does it occur after a meal or on an empty stomach? Is it worse in the morning or at night? Do certain foods make it worse? Your healthcare provider will do a physical exam. They'll check your belly for swelling or tenderness. They may use a stethoscope to check your stomach for growling or gurgling. Other diagnostic tests may include blood tests to assess your liver, kidney, and thyroid function, breath test to check for H. pylori, imaging exams to check for blockages or other problems in the intestines. Imaging exams may include X ray, CT scan, or upper endoscopy. Stool test to check poop for H. pylori or other bacterial infections. Indigestion is usually caused by drinking too much alcohol or caffeine, eating too much or too fast, eating fatty, spicy, or acidic foods, experiencing stress or anxiety, taking certain medications, including aspirin, especially if taken on an empty stomach. Sometimes indigestion means there's a problem in your digestive tract. Your digestive system contains organs that help your body break down food and absorb nutrients. Indigestion could be a sign of gastritis, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, gastroparesis, helicobacter pylori, H. pylori, infection, hiatal hernia, irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, peptic ulcer disease, stomach cancer. Sometimes chronic, ongoing, indigestion isn't related to any of these causes. In that case, it's called functional indigestion, functional dyspepsia. Symptoms of indigestion may include acidic taste in your mouth, abdominal bloating, burning pain in your stomach or upper abdomen, burping and gas, gurgling sound in your stomach, nausea and vomiting. You can reduce your risk of indigestion by avoiding alcohol, eating a healthy, balanced diet, managing your stress level, not eating meals before bed, not smoking. Replacing aspirin with acetaminophen. Most people find relief from indigestion by making diet changes or taking medication. Your healthcare provider may recommend a combination of both. Diet changes include avoiding foods or drinks that trigger indigestion, cutting down on alcohol, caffeine, and carbonated drinks, removing fatty, spicy, or acidic foods from your diet. Indigestion caused by another health condition might improve with medication. Common medications for relief include antacids. These over-the-counter medications provide quick relief for acid reflux. They neutralize stomach acid. Antibiotics. Antibiotics treat bacterial infections like H. pylori, H2 blockers. These medications decrease the amount of acid your stomach produces. H2 blockers may help peptic ulcers. Proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, PPIs decrease the acid in your stomach but are usually only for people with heartburn. Your healthcare provider may recommend surgery if ongoing acid reflux gives you indigestion. A procedure called laparoscopic antiurflux surgery may help relieve the symptoms of GERD. It's a minimally invasive procedure, meaning it doesn't need a large incision. Indigestion might go away as soon as you change your diet and habits. If you do take medication for your upset stomach, only do so with your healthcare provider's approval. Some medications, especially acid reducers, can have long-term side effects. These may include an increased risk of infections or low levels of important nutrients. Contact a healthcare provider right away if you experience black stools, chest pain, difficulty breathing, frequent or bloody vomiting, jaundice, yellowing of your eyes or skin, severe pain in your belly, unexplained weight loss, the occasional stomach problem as normal. 
but frequent stomach problems can keep you from eating, sleeping or working. If indigestion is affecting your quality of life, it's time to see a healthcare provider. There are a variety of professionals who can help with stomach problems. They include primary care providers, dietitians, gastroenterologists and talk therapists. And now, I'll turn it back over to Jimmy. Thanks a lot, Lisa. I hope you found this information interesting and helpful at the same time. And I want to thank you for being here today. And I want to remind you, no one ever went blind by looking at things from the bright side. So give it a shot, my friends. Hey, do me a favor today and do yourself a favor. Be the reason that somebody smiles. Give them a wave, give them a smile, give them a hearty handshake. But be the reason somebody smiles. It'll make you feel good. It'll make them feel good. And I want to remind you to make sure you stop by an apple a day for the full podcast every weekend. You don't want to miss it. We have some great guests coming up in the month of December. So you're not going to want to miss that. Hey, you've been listening to an apple a day is the fritter. I'm your host, Jimmy Apple, and I want to remind you one more thing. The Fritter comes out five days a week, every morning at 4 a.m. We're up early, just like Santa's helpers. We're making a fresh Fritter for you every day, so check them out. Hey, thanks for listening today, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Have a great day, my friends. Join Jimmy tomorrow for another Apple Fritter. In the meantime, stop over at our YouTube group page, Living with a Disability, join in the conversation and make some new friends. See you next time.